Hi there and welcome to this episode of Ask the Expert. I'm Johannes, Industry Manager Automotive in the field of e-mobility at Trump. Today I would like to show you established and potential new laser applications in electrode manufacturing. The very first steps in the production process of lithium ion batteries. The single process steps are mixing of the active anode and cathode material, wet coating on the carrier foil in a roll-to-roll -roll process, drying, calendaring, slitting and cutting into single electrodes or smaller formats, as well as stacking or winding before the contacting. In almost every single step, we can find several state-of-the-art and new potential laser applications. Decoding is realized in a continuous process on thin aluminum and copper foils in the thickness range of 6 to 12 micron. For better adhesion of the active material on the carrier foil, it might be necessary to roughen the surface clean off organic material or decoding oxide layers. It is also possible to completely penetrate the foils with very high repetition rates. Here you can see two examples of it with a penetrated area. Enlarged in the microscope it looks like on this image. For these applications we recommend our True Pulse Nano Lasers and our Ultra Short Pulse 2 Micro Series. A good and stable drying of the electrode has a direct impact on the performance and lifetime of the batteries. Conventional convection ovens need a lot of energy and require a big footprint and long drying lengths. Our approach is here to combine conventional oven technology with the advantages of direct heating with laser or induction technology. Here on the exemplary setup of a drying process you can see both of our technologies. A specially designed inductor heating up the electrode from the inside to the outside and here a special semiconductor Vixel laser for heating a defined area of the electrode surface with IR laser wavelengths. We believe that our technology can significantly contribute to the reduction of the oven footprint and improving the quality of the electrodes by better dissolving of the solvents. Our product range can be adapted to the respective application and customer requirements. After drying and calendaring the electrode, usually it reduced to a smaller format, still on a roll-to-roll -roll process. This can be done by slitting the coil with a laser in a non-contact cut with constant results and minimum heat input. In the further processing and to reach the final format of the electrode contour cutting, with laser is currently the only technology that meets the requirements regarding speed and quality. For this application, our first choice is the True Pulse Nano Laser Series and in some cases our True Micro or even CW single mode lasers. Other potential laser applications are the removal of active material or the structuring of electrode surface with the idea of improving the lifetime and charging time of batteries. Our entire range of True Pulse Nano Lasers and True Micro Lasers is used for these applications. Now the single electrodes can be stacked, winded or rolled into the desired cell format to finally build a prismatic, pouch or cylindrical lithium ion battery cell. For further information and to learn more about the laser applications in the following production steps of lithium ion batteries, check out the Ask the Expert session contacting of lithium ion batteries. Stay tuned and thanks for watching this episode of Ask the Expert.